So I started reacting to this podcast a few days ago, and I thought I'd continue because the questions that are being asked are questions that everyone should be asking themselves. The title of the podcast is great, and it's what stuck out to me initially, and that's why I clicked on it. The title is, We Are All Going to Die. It's shocking, it's truth, and it points you to the most crucial reality known to man, the fact that you will die. And me being a Christian, it's my job to use this video to explain to you how you can defeat death through faith in Jesus Christ. It's, you know, one of the things, one of the reasons I I felt like, I mean, we spoke briefly about this about a couple of years ago. I had a car accident and I had a, some loss in my family and it shifted how I look at life. And I thought, and before that, before that year, I thought I knew everything. I'm so, I'm spiritual. I'm, Girl, I didn't read every book. I, I can tell you I all knew, the books. Right, but so when I got rocked like that, it made me realize, oh, you don't know everything and you're actually doing some things wrong and you're gonna be uncomfortable while you're tra trying to figure out how to fix it. And so I think I fixed a lot of things. And I think sometimes it takes trauma or it takes tragedy to shift you that way. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons I thought about this podcast. But the truth is, why do we wait till somebody dies to think, oh, I got to live every day. Yeah. Oh, life is short. My that's time true. is we should we should we should be reminded of that all the time because well, I think the pain, I think we have fear of people yeah. dying. So we don't want to face it yet until it's in our face. So Angie Martina asks a question, and I'm going to reread what she said word for word. She says, why do we wait until somebody dies to start thinking about how short life is? That we have to live our lives to the fullest each day because life is short. We should be thinking about that every single day. And Lauren London responded by saying she thinks it's because we have a fear of death and that we don't want to face it until it's in our face. Now, she's right to a degree. The thought of death is a fearful thing. It's absolutely terrifying because it's the loss of our greatest possession our bodies and our earthly existence. Now, it's an absolutely terrifying thought if there is no way to defeat it. If there is no way to defeat death, then we are miserably hopeless. But that's not the case because Jesus Christ died and rose from the grave to defeat death for sinners, to take away the sting of death. 1 Corinthians 15, 55. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? Now, I'm a Christian. I have a hope. And I tell myself that often because it's a glorious reality when you truly possess it. I have something to look forward to after this body of mine dies. Have you ever thought about how some of the first century Christians could literally sing hymns with smiles on their faces as they're being fed to lions, okay? Singing hymns while being fed to lions or being speared to death by Roman soldiers. They had a hope in something greater than anything that could be attained in this life. They had Christ. So the arching theme here is this, you are going to die. You don't know when and you don't know how, but you know each day is a day closer to that day. And personally, I don't fear death. I have some fear about how God will get me to my end, but after that, there is no fear. The Bible says that those who die in faith will be resting. Resting in Jesus is atoned all throughout the Bible, but resting is only reserved for those who are in Christ. If you don't have Christ, there would be no rest for you, and there would be no peace for you. If you die in your sins for all eternity, you will be in anguish, pain, and torment gnashing your teeth day in and day out and that's just an expression because there is no time in eternity it's just all one singular moment think about how frightening that is that those who die in their sins and go to hell hell will just be one moment forever and ever and ever for them okay so come to christ before it's too late don't play around with the short amount of time that god has given you because life is a vapor james 4 14.